Hello, my dear friends, I'm Kirill, and today I'd like to tell you about LEGO Technics set 42156. This is a new set of this 2023 year. Uh, as you probably know, I'm not a big fan of cars, especially because now in LEGO Technic we have many cars, maybe too many cars. But this model differs from other models of this scale and surprisingly this model left very pleasant impressions. The box is pretty huge. Here we can see 18 plus label, Peugeot logo, name of the model, Peugeot 9x8, 1775 pieces. And one more interesting feature, here we have two, not universal joints, but two cardan shafts with double universal joints, and both of the shafts are shown in the wrong way, so somebody tell LEGO Technic designers uh, to open an article in Wikipedia <laughs> or to watch my video about universal joints, because this is the wrong way you shouldn't connect universal joints in this way and we often see this incorrect uh, junction in instructions in instructions for LEGO Technic sets and it's mm, it's incredible and it's very bad and I don't understand why we see it again so on the opposite side we have one more view of the model, also a photo of the original car, dimensions, I suppose it will be 1 to 10 scale, 50 centimeters long and 13 centimeters high, a few yeah, details about the real car, and I've already opened the box. This is a pretty thick instructions book, it was in a cardboard, it's cool, and also here we have two sheets with stickers, of course a lot of stickers because this is a racing car, as it's a 18 plus set, here we have a few words from designer, actually not too many interesting information, just a few words about collaboration with Peugeot and also yeah, a few strings from Peugeot's side. Actually nothing special here, I like when here we can see some photos of the table, of designer's table, uh, some prototypes, unfinished models and so on, but here actually you can see nothing like this, only just yeah, a few photos, one page about the history of Peugeot and 40, uh, 24 hours Le Mans race. And this is our model that we will assemble today in a few minutes. One more cool comparison. Yeah, it looks pretty similar, I think, at least the color. And now, yeah, three stages and yeah, two more stages. So we have five building stages in total and nothing more here. In the box there were a lot of numbered bags and also three unnumbered bags. Here we can see wheels and arcs, one more arc of fender, shock absorbers, lime frame and a lot of other frames and also tires uh, were just in the box without any package but it, they look okay. Here you can see the pieces from plastic bags with number one and three additional pieces, two big frames, three by 19 and also one of two shock absorbers with very stiff spring and its working range is 1.5 studs and this is the same like in Ferrari 42143 and in BMW motorcycle. In this set yeah, we have two of these shock absorbers and four of these long frames. Also here we have a few frames, 
panels in light bluish gray, wheel hubs, CV joints, differential gear, first the first differential gear. Yeah, this is all-wheel drive car after all. And here we have all the pieces to build a V6 engine. And of course many other pieces, pretty common of course. And in the end of the video I will insert as usual complete part list. This is the rear part of the model. You can see wheel hubs, differential gear, V6 piston engine. Here you can see crankshaft. And also, yeah, this suspension has only one shock absorber placed horizontally and it allows to move one of the wheels or two wheels in the same time. Very interesting system, not usual one shock absorber per wheel and it was very interesting to assemble it. Here we can see also uh, shafts for steering and some details. Unfortunately, instruction book has no additional information like um, many creator expert sets. Often they have some additional notes during the assembling process, but unfortunately in Technic sets we haven't this feature. The next step contains a lot of interesting pieces. Uh, cool lime frame 7x11, some additional lime pieces including some connectors, two more long frames, the second shock absorber, two absolutely new pieces. These pieces look very familiar but it's not a usual corner. It has perpendicular holes we will see how these pieces will be used in the set. Four pieces in the set. Yeah, probably it will be very useful also in your own creations. Some gears and everything to build the front suspension and steering system. Two wheel hubs, CV joints, steering links, this links, one more differential, another type and it's cool because this one is more useful in your own creations because it can handle more torque and at mm, higher reduction. Long beams with perpendicular holes, white pins without friction, one more gear, one eleven stud lawn uh, in light bluish gray. I think this set has only one piece of this type and this color and some other pieces. Now it's time to continue the assembling process. This is a chassis after the second stage. Now, now we have steering with working steering wheel. Also we have front suspension. It's pretty similar to the rear suspension, but here shock absorber is mounted on the top. And here we have also front wheel drive, so in total the car has all wheel drive, but here we have no pistons or something like this, just uh, an emulation of the electric motor, just like in a real car. But not too many LEGO Technic sets have front wheel drive and it's pretty cool. We have an extra differential gear, additional CV joints and so on. And you can see here a steering rack. This is just an additional gear to uh, limit the motion of this gear rack and to do the assembling process more convenient. Of course this is a seat of the pilot and also I like how the frame is constructed out of these 3 by 19 uh, frames, just two frames stacked one after each other, but they work pretty 
well and this construction is pretty stiff. The third step contains a lot of pieces. Here we can see black frames and also a lot of black panels, pretty usual. Also this huge 5 by 13 and this and one this. Nothing special here, but panels in dark bluish gray are much more interesting. Probably these long panels are in dark bluish gray for the first time. Also here you can see these short panels and this and these and absolutely new corner that can be connected with these panels and of course with this. So it's 3 by 5 corner and probably in the future you will see 3 by 3 corner for example or maybe 5 by 5, who knows. Also additional uh, pieces in dark bluish gray, some uh, non-technic pieces actually pretty decent amount and many uh, beams and pins so this step will be a bit longer I think than the second one. And this is the result of the stage 3. The top part of the model is completed. Also here we have a steering handle. You, If you want to detach it you should detach gear and then detach the axis because now we have no uh, axis 6 start long with stop so you should detach two pieces and now the model has doors pretty interesting and here you can see two panels um, match each other pretty well place of the pilot and some aerodynamics elements on both sides of the model. Looks not like a car so far. On the fourth step we will meet many different panels in black color, cool panels from McLaren and also in dark bluish gray color rectangular panels, curved panels in different shapes. One more pair of this 3 by 11, one pair 3 by 7 orange connectors and also one propeller blade, something like this. Two arcs in dark bluish gray. These arcs are the same like in Ferrari 42 one, two, five. And surprisingly, here we have many red panels, two by three. Pretty rare panel because it was uh, used only in two uh, Lego Technic sets. So far, the first was a very expensive Ferrari 42143 and also pneumatic uh, material handler also contains a few panels in red color. I suppose the rear part of the model is finished. A lot of aerodynamic elements were added and it looks pretty cool. Tail lights are represented by red panels. Unfortunately not semi-transparent panels, just the usual red. And we have only one step to go. On the fifth stage we have a few more frames, a few more panels, a lot of panels of this shape in dark bluish gray, also one black panel. I think we saw only dark bluish gray panels of this shape of this type. Two more new corners with perpendicular holes and white bars for front lights and maybe I will be able to take a photo in a dark but I'm not sure because my camera is not, I don't know, not professional and also I'm not a 
good photographer something like this but I will try of course to show you how these bars look in the dark so this is our Peugeot 9x8 and I like how it looks even without stickers it looks really futuristic and very cool but of course if you like racing cars and if you like particularly this car you should apply stickers and it will look even better regarding the functions here we have of course suspension independent suspension here we have steering it's a bit difficult to steer with so small gear it would be better to replace it but but by bigger gear it's very easy to realize and yes you can remove this gear if you don't like it here we have opening compartment and it's really cool because now we can see how the suspension works how a steering works and even how a differential gear rotates and also a few gears more it's really cool in the rear part we have also an opening compartment and now we can see the second differential gear and working piston engine and yeah here shock absorber is placed on the bottom but we can still demonstrate the work of suspension and also we can open doors working steering wheel yeah it's really difficult to steer by this gear the second door is opening too but here actually nothing to show and it's yeah all about the functions but it's cool that we can open all these compartments and we have a great view of internal mechanisms the rear part is pretty nice tail lights diffuser and so on and the front part actually yeah it's a bit strange it's a sport prototype but in general i like this futuristic view so it's time to finish my review i like this car it looks really cool you can detach this handle if you want just to put the car on a shelf but it's good idea to replace this lime technic brick one by one by the black one but it's not a rare piece in black so it will not be a problem uh, regarding the lights i didn't manage to take a nice photo in the darkness it's not a flashlight so these bars are not so bright but the idea is interesting but of course you should remember that it's a bad idea to place the model on the sunlight for a long time uh, other pieces can uh, lose their color um, what about functions functions are pretty common but they are realized pretty interesting here we have interesting new type of suspension uh, also here we have extra differential gear in front so and yeah we have here all wheel drive and um, last year's only uh, big and expensive sets uh, like Ferrari uh, no 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 not Ferrari of course but like Bugatti or Lamborghini had all-wheel drive and Land Rover yeah 42110 but this set is not so expensive and it's really cool that here we have eight CV joints and yeah probably it's a uh, base to build your own all-wheel drive cars it's very cool but uh, in general yeah no special functions like i don't know retract retractable spoiler or 
doors with locks or something like this. Uh, all the functions are pretty common. And this set is pretty nice donor to my mind. Here we have more than 1700 pieces, a lot of frames, a lot of pieces in dark bluish gray. If you have, for example, a Mac 42078, I think, and if you have Osprey 42113, then probably you have a pretty decent collection of parts in dark bluish gray, of course, if you like it. Yeah, and you will be able to build uh, large models in this color. Uh, and of course, two shock absorbers of re uh, relatively new type. It's bad if you want to build usual cars because you need four shock absorbers. This set contains only two, so you should buy more shock absorbers separately. But if you need this new shock absorbers, then this set is a nice source. And yeah, what about the functions? What I like about this set is that we can open two covers and now we see all the functions. We can see how differentials work, how piston engine works, how suspension works and so on. Very uh, fast access to all mechanisms and it's really cool for Technic set. But unfortunately we have no uh, functions description in the instruction book. What else about pieces? As I said before, two differential gears, not too many gears actually in the set, and no um, gearboxes or something like this, so this set is pretty simple. But of course you can find something interesting and useful here. And I think that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!